Bear Bombers and Bombshells, it's your girl Claire, and today we're talking to Kana Walker, the owner of House of CV, a brand beloved by Jennifer Lopez, the Kardashians, and Beyonce. We're going to talk to her about how she got her start and how you can build your very own fashion empire. Let's go. Kana Walker. Proud owner of House of CD. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so proud of you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we first met about 10 years ago. Yep. When House of CB was Celeb Boutique. Correct. And you yes. were Kim. Yes. So let's yes. talk about that. <laughs> So a lot has changed since then. Mm -hmm. um, initially, um, what I was doing was just buying and selling ready-made pieces, mm -hmm. and then just putting them on my site to, to sell. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the, you know the whole concept of Celeb Boutique and the name that it was. Um, and I just felt like I didn't want people to know of me, mm -hmm. or or I felt like the business was just the business, and I had no kind of um, yeah, you know, I didn't want to brand myself as such at that right, point. Right, right, right. Um, and then since then, everything is now in house designed in London. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we rebranded to kind of reflect that to House of CB. Mm -hmm. um, and then now, I felt like, yeah, okay, I can, I can have an Instagram. I can do, you know, do little go. interviews here and there. So then I use my real name and and not my fake. And here one. we are. Yeah. <laughs> so let's dial it back. Yes. How did it begin? Did you go to fashion school? No, nope. just none Tell of that. How, how yeah. did it start? <laughs> um, so originally I started when I was 17, so it's about um, seven years ago now. Mm -hmm. And I just needed to make some money. Gotcha. Um, and then eventually grew the site to be, you know, strong by itself, closed mm -hmm. down eBay. Um, and then from there started in-house designing. And okay. then now we're here. <laughs> okay. How did you find the courage to do that? Because I feel like a lot of young women mm -hmm. have a similar dream, but they don't really know to know where to begin. Um, I feel like I just kind of, I wasn't a scared, I wasn't scared to fail. Probably when I was about 18, so about a year in, okay. um, I was still at school and I would be packaging orders before I left school. I kind of just evolved with the brand and grew mm -hmm. with it. And I think by doing it like that, okay. I had time to kind of grow into the role as right, such right. Um, and so it didn't seem as scary because I wasn't originally trying to build this this big brand and, and do all this stuff. Now you have stores in several cities, yes. the craziest thing, not <laughs> the craziest thing, JLo wears House of CB, yes. the Kardashians wear House of CB, Beyonce wears House of CB. Yep, Beyonce is the best, like I'm obsessed. So I always make things that I know I would wear right. and that I would like, and mm. then it seems to just naturally fall into the hands of the the people that are awesome. rich and famous. Yes, <laughs> we we are who we are, and you know what you get with us. Right. And I think people, you know, and celebrities come to us for that right. because they know what we do mm. and we do it well. Mm -hmm. It's definitely for women that like to stand out and yeah. are confident and are sexy and vivacious mm -hmm. and just kind of enjoy. Life. And love to party. And love to party, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can't forget that. Yes. I feel like we fill a void in the market that is, you know, as you said, underserved. Mm -hmm. I know so many designers who mm -hmm. crave getting placed on a celebrity. Yes. And it is hard. Mm -hmm. So how did you do it? Um, I think the feedback that we get from stylists is that we fit really well. Mm. So, um, say Beyonce or J-Lo, um, they have similar body types and mm. we cut for a certain body type. Mm -hmm. um, Curvy. And, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, a lot of stylists say to us that they can just put it on, zip it up, and they're good to go. They don't need to yeah. tailor the dress, they're, they're just ready. It's true. Um, I put the suit on. <laughs> I mean, I had to pop a pin in because I'm a little busty. <laughs> but it's like, it looks great, yeah. Do you design and sketch, or is it your design? Um, I did, originally, okay. and um, that's a very loose term. My drawing is, like, not very good <laughs> at all. Mm -hmm. um, but now we have, like, four designers in our London studio, mm -hmm. and then I will give them the direction that I want. Right. Um, and they will come back to me with sketches, and I'll say yes or no, change this, change that. Then we go into sampling, mm -hmm. things will get cancelled from there. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be surprised to see how some things come back from a sketch. Mm -hmm. You'll be expecting one thing, and it'll be like, wow. Mm -hmm. That is horrendous. <laughs> so what does Fashion Bomb Daily mean to you? Everything! You know how important <laughs> it is. So for those that don't know, 
when I was starting out, Claire was starting out around the same time, yeah, right? Yeah, we were starting yeah. around the same time. And um, I used to advertise on Fashion Bomb Daily, mm -hmm. and I used to draw the little adverts myself on Photoshop. So it was huge. I felt like it really made a huge difference in people knowing my brand or what was to be my brand. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, it's everything. I mean, I think that without that, it definitely would have taken a lot longer to grow. Mm -hmm. I feel like at the time, I felt like your blog was so big. <laughs> And then now I'm like, wow, it's really huge. <laughs> and yeah. it really took me a moment to to kind of look back and realise, like, wow, we've yeah. grown so much. I yeah. feel like our stories are, like, entwined. They are. Yeah, it's wonderful. And it, it's great to see women, you know, doing it mm -hmm. in their own way in this digital landscape and just kind of figuring things out. Also supporting each other along yes, the way. Yes, absolutely.